Regional and local authorities are responsible for approximately one-third of all public expenditure and two-thirds of all public investments in the EU. These figures rose significantly, as many EU member states gradually transferred their fiscal and budgetary responsibilities to their regions and cities. To discuss this aspect of economic governance and fiscal decentralization, the Committee of the Regions organized its second conference on sub-national public finances in Brussels on the 24th of June. The recent economic crisis can be described as a crisis in investment. It is the general collapse of investments that hasn't hit Europe in a uniform way. OECD Director for Public Governance and Territorial Development, Rolf Alter, emphasized the increasing inequality within the regions. It is true that the discrepancy, the gap between the most prosperous and the lagging regions in the OECD has increased, has increased. When talking about the trends in fiscal decentralization and sub-national public finance, the president of the regional government of Valencia in Spain stressed the importance of putting citizens at the central stage. We need to call for the transfer of more resources to the regions, so that we can better provide those services that citizens require from us. The president of the Committee of the Regions concluded that although the efforts that have been made are starting to pay off, still a lot needs to be done. If we are expected to take up our responsibilities in terms of expenditure, we also have to have the right structure in place when it comes to resources. Hence, the regions and cities of Europe can only invest in sustainable growth if they can act within a framework of transparency and responsibilities.